Now, today we got a special one for you. Again, like always, <laughs> we're talking about gender roles within a relationship. Let's talk about it. Gender roles, per se, are just a social construct. Right. It is something that someone created and said, this is a man's place and this is a woman's place. Right. Do I do we believe that roles are important in a relationship? Yes. yes. But should it be confined to a gender specifically? No. But again, you know, you do what is best for your relationship. And there's nothing wrong with that. I think that if you guys have a conversation and you communicate on what the expectations are in a relationship and it works for you and it flows well so that you guys have a healthy relationship throughout the course of, of its time, then, hey, do it. You know, don't let social constructs tell you what a man or a woman should be doing in a relationship. Now, if there are just red flags and your partner just doesn't want to contribute or provide in any sort of way, then that's one thing. Right. But um, having a conversation and saying, hey, you know, what are our expectations in, in this relationship? What are we looking for? What do we want our roles to be? How can we play off of each other's strengths and weaknesses right. so that this can be a very healthy and strong relationship? It's necessary. Right. You know, I think it, it's important yeah. because the last thing you want to do is assume that someone is going to take on a certain role and then get upset when they're not meeting your expectations. Right. And mm -hmm. I think she hit on the key point or the key word, which is have a conversation. Mm -hmm. You have to have conversations within your, within your relationship mm -hmm. and it should be a conversation of, yeah. hey, w what can we both contribute? Yeah. I know for us in particular, we both take care of some of the house duties. I will say that she takes care of more of the house duties, but mm -hmm. we've had conversations about that. We've yeah. had conversations about what, what in your role can you provide to make our relationship and our marriage better? Mm -hmm. So she takes more of the slack on the, the housework, but does she has she ever washed my clothes no she hasn't no. <laughs> not that was i do my own, own laundry <laughs> i clean up around the house i do the dishes i do all that she just picks up a little bit more slack than i do in that area yeah now, and for me it's more so like shane knows i say this all the time what is one thing do i like let's see let's see if he knows his wife what is one thing that i always say that i like Oh. Wait, hold on. Organization. Yes, and order. Order, order. <laughs> <laughs> I had the I had the O you right. You had the O right. I had so the o right. <laughs> one thing about me is that I like order. I grew up in a big family household, so a lot of times there wasn't much order in the house because there's just so many kids running around. So now that I'm in a space where it's our own, I just like the things I like for things to be very clean and organized and put together and where it's supposed to be. Right. It might also be a Capricorn thing. I don't know, but that's more so me. So I'm willing to pick up more of the slack when it comes to that, and just because I like things in a particular and in a particular way. And mm -hmm. I know that about my wife, too. So. I kind of feed off of that energy and mm -hmm. I make sure that I'm picking up my slack so that the order in the house and the organization in the house is there yeah. because if it's not, she's going to have a little bit of an attitude. So yeah. I don't want that <laughs> because happy wife, happy life. Guys, remember that. <laughs> um, yeah, so yeah. that's what that's what it is. And on the flip side, we have it where we both, when it comes to the finances, we both budget together. You know, we set financial goals together. We plan together, but... I'm not really, I don't really like to take care of it on a day-to-day -day basis. That's just not my thing. Mm -hmm. So I say, hey, Shane, here, you take care of it. We meet on this day. We we plan, we work things out. Right. But for the most part, like, That's, he handles the, the financial side of things. And I actually... And he actually enjoys it. I actually yeah. enjoy it. That's yeah. actually something that is kind of ingrained in me since I was a kid, like, mm -hmm. making sure that my finances were good. So yeah. now preparing uh preparing a life for the both of us to be successful financially mm -hmm. that brings me joy yeah. it actually brings me happiness mm -hmm. to be able to help jen along 
and help myself along in our marriage so that we are financially in a good place and yeah. continue to grow yeah. into even a better place. Mm -hmm. And I love it. So yeah. And it helps keep me, it helps keep me organized in that aspect as, as well, because, um, you know, I can be a little impulsive at times. And so when you have someone that is great at covering the finances and they actually enjoy it, it doesn't feel like a chore or a task. It's something that he actually enjoys doing. He's able to help me see things through a different lens that I may not notice when doing finances right. or notice certain patterns that I'm not aware of because I don't look at finances the same way that same he does. That I so, do. and I think that's why it is important to have roles per se in a relationship right. because we all have a role to play in our relationship, but whether gender should be put on it specifically, historically speaking about gender roles, we don't necessarily believe that, but again, do what's best for your relationship. A hundred percent, a hundred percent agree. Roles overall, I think are very important. Yeah. Like she said, when you're putting gender on it, where it's like a gender specific role, where it's like a woman's supposed to do X, yeah, Y, you're and supposed to, you're supposed to, to cook X, every meal, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. No, that's not the case. No. Me and Jen, we get in the kitchen together and we cook yeah. together. Yeah. And yeah. we, and that's actually bring, brings us much joy yeah. and brings us closer, gives yeah. that quality time as yeah. well, because she might be cutting up onions and, and dicing up peppers <laughs> And I'm cooking the meat and I'm, you know, I'm dicing up the meat. And yeah. I think just that interaction of mm -hmm. us both in the kitchen together mm -hmm. brings us even closer because yeah. we're having good conversation. Yeah. We got some good tunes playing in the background yeah. and it's not just like, oh, you should be doing this yeah. and I'm supposed to be on the couch watching yeah. the NFL game. Yeah. Like, no. Yeah. It should be something that, and if you guys do feel like that, is what you want then communicate that and maybe that might not be the partner for you because if that's what you're looking for and your partner is like nah i don't want to bend on that that right. that those that's not what i was hoping for in a relationship right. then yeah right now also another thing to keep in mind too is that as you evolve in your relationship you know because we spoke about this in another video we're constantly evolving so were the roles you right. know so you may not be the same person that you were 10 years ago as your husband or your partner and it's very important to sit down and have a conversation and say hey i know when we first met we spoke about me taking care of x y and z and you taking care of x y and z but you know as life has changed so have, you know, my perspective on roles and what I can contribute and yeah. what I can do because we constantly change. And so it's important to just always be in communication and sit down so that the expectations are clear because what can end up happening is your partner's thinking, hey, you agreed to doing this or you said that, hey, this is my role. And then when it's no longer being done and one person is assuming that you're just going to do it and it doesn't happen, then resentment builds. So you want to always just constantly just have communication about it. And sometimes expectations will not be met and you just have to say, Hey, well, this is one thing that I don't know if I'm really wanting to bend on. Right. And then that's another conversation. But again, it takes work, right? It takes work. So we're having this type of conversation because these are conversations that aren't had very often. Mm -hmm. People don't talk about relationship building and finance building. And that's everything that we talk about in this channel. So if you haven't subscribed already, mm -hmm. please hit that subscribe button, tell a friend and tell that friend to tell another friend. And drop a comment below too as well. We love to have an open dialogue with you guys. What are some, some roles that you have in your relationship that you feel open to sharing? Or let's chat it up. Do you have questions for us? We would love to share and kind of expand on this conversation a little bit more. So drop a comment below if that's something you like to do. Right, so relationship talk, this is what we're about. We're going to continue to be about it and we're yeah. going to have these kind of difficult conversations, but yeah. also very rare conversations. We, this is just our opinion on things, yeah. but it has worked for us and we've been in a relationship for over 11 years now, Yeah, working on 12 and I can't believe it's been almost 12. I know. <laughs> So we, we want to bring this value to you because we've yeah. been there. We know that. So we're bringing that to you and we hoping that you're getting value from it. So my name is Shane. And I'm Jen. Bye. Enjoy the journey.